right, part two here. Got the old heater going. Must be like 10 degrees here. Got an extension light. Now I know on the side, there's three bolts there. Now what happened was this thing popped right out. I actually bent the metal just to put it back in. But you could either take these out and take out uh, with my case here. Um, I could take this right inside the house in the basement and work on it, but I'm going to try something here. There's a 3 8 um, and it, I thought it would be tough to get this bolt out, but for the first time. So I'm going to take that out because there's not even a nut on the other side to need for the need of two wrenches. Okay, so that came out pretty easy. Plus, I'd like to keep it in here. So, oh, that might be a problem. I might have to take the. I don't know if I had an extension. Probably could get at that bolt. All right, I'm gonna pause this. I didn't see that other bolt right under it. So I'm gonna try that. What I was looking for is my little adapter there, so I could use my socket wrench and uh, the long extension. I can see the gear, however, I'm going to show you after I take this out. It looks pretty good. The grease is all in there. Right, there's the second. Let's see the gear. Get it to where the camera can see it. Yeah, see that? The bronze colored gear right there. Looks pretty good. So I may not have to buy that. Okay, so that's, I'm going to pause this again. Okay, I see uh, one on the other side well, when it broke. Try that. I wonder if duct tape would work. Yeah, these are coming out pretty easy. Even so, what is there? Four total. There's three. If I run into any problems with the uh, rust, I'll let you know. You know, if I have to stop and. Sometimes it's worth it just to buy the whole part if you don't have the right tools. All right, I gotta pause this so I can hold some. Okay, uh, yeah, because this was just, it was light. I, I had to hold up one side. Look at that, you can actually see it being unthreaded where it broke. Now, if my socket set can do this, you guys will have no problem. I, I did see a video where they lined it up when they put the two halves back together. That's important. There's a rubber thing here, if you've seen that video. So, and there's the, is that a washer? That's the, yeah, that's a washer. But it's got, uh, 
it's got like a sleeve on it here and that goes to that part that sticks out of the shaft here where it holds the part in place but anyhow okay so that was one two three four bolts and I think there's the two uh, broken it's loaded with grease I'm not sure what type of grease this is somebody will probably mention it um, there's the part where the uh, was it the rubber gasket goes in there and this is looking like the part that I was going to order I'm going to go ahead and do it because it looks identical this is a Sears machine again okay so that's how that's how I I got one more on the bottom. That's going to be tough because if I can move that shaft, this whole, this whole thing will uh, turn so I can work on it better. Okay, so in sp instead of spending more time trying to lift that shaft up, what I did was just put my foot against this and uh, this is my just my case only. Um, probably the same thing as on loosening those bolts. And I just pulled the thing out because I've seen it pop out before. I would just advise you to uh, do these three bolts on each side. Um, now this comes out. Okay, there's that one bolt, the last one, yeah this socket keeps falling out, doesn't have that clip there, I wonder if I can get it. Okay, I gotta pause it. I gotta hold this part. It's so no way I'm gonna loosen it without it. Okay, it is turning. You see how loose the entire part is. I think I can unscrew my fingers now. Let's bring it up front. I believe the part number two will be written right on the part so I can make sure that, that both halves are, I, I was looking at one of the new ones, it's like one number off, so uh, half will be number one, the other half will be number two or whatever. Okay. <laughs> that took the longest to get out out of any of them. And that's that. So, we got to take these off, that's for sure. But at least I could bring it in the house now. get a better look at there it is okay so we'll we'll call this part two just in case my battery dies and and I'm gonna bring everything now in the house better lighting and take off these uh, what do you call them? Uh, blades here. 
and uh, we'll get a better look at the part so I can order the part. We'll see you in part three.